Oh, right, 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 we have another video for you today, and this one is all about market exploitation. Let's jump right in, and not just exploitation, but also a bug that's going in. So first of all, we have a whole bunch of markets on this side and a whole bunch of markets on the opposite side. Ludicrous map, of course, because why would you not have a ludicrous map when doing this? Uh, we're going to be making the trade cards and you can notice that they went immediately to the market and that actually filled them up so that's the first exploit when doing a trade card boom empty and now immediately full and you can see that each one of these is already carrying their 278 gold once again because we're on a ludicrous map now check this out the game is completely busted and these things are moving like no other mangadai and camels for whatever reason are also sped up by the caravansary whatever you get the basic idea now there's one more exploit that i want to talk about so when these guys oh my god i can't keep up they're too they're actually too fast i have to actually oh god they are so freaking quick when they drop it off You'll see that the trade cards become empty once more. Now you can actually send these empty ones back over to the red market and that will fill them up again. This is a really, really nasty trick that you can do to basically double your trade yield. So once again, these guys have all dropped off and now all I'm going to do is send them back over and fill them back up. Fill up my cup, my cup, my cup, cup. And this could double your trade. Now, the only downside about this is that you will have to do this manually, which is not great. But if you're just trade card booming on Amazon Tungle anyway, my God, look at how fast these things are, are zooming right now. We're, we're just going to zoom out a little bit. My God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> look at how fast they're going. They're going so ridiculously fast. Now, I have let this run for a little bit and I did stop the um, dropping off and whatnot just because I want to show you how fast you can actually generate 1 million gold with this setup. We even deleted the additional markets just to make this go a little bit more smooth. Now, how do I know how much gold we have generated? I gave myself exactly enough to get 200 trade cards out that way everything that is in the bank right now in terms of gold is actual profit sip of the soda and we also have to construct all of them so you can actually deduct some time we'll, we'll see on the statistics once we see the total amount of resources but poop why don't you have uh, houses because we think of everything when we set up and create these scenarios for you guys we picked Huns, that way we don't have to have ugly houses. Uh, let's do a little zoom in and just check out a little section and see how fast they, they zoom on by. Zoom on by to the other side. Zoom on by to... <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking of just having this and then uh, kind of having it at, at the end or whatever. Uh, this all sped up even faster, but it, it's going to go fast a enough, especially at eight times speed, which turns into 16 times speed that I'm not too, 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 too like a ballerina concerned about it. So let's just quickly recap the exploits that we have done so the first exploit that you can do here is obviously the Karansharai is broken and is speeding up the units significantly faster than they should be sped up when you're creating trade units instead of sending them to the opposite market send them to a market that is basically adjacent that will fill them up immediately as long as you have a market on the opposite side and finally, if you drop off resources at market and you happen to be looking at that, any empty one can just be sent over to a allied market, filling it up again, potentially doubling your trade yield. Whew, take a little bit longer than I, I, I thought it was going to. It, it's taken already an hour and we've only made uh, 450, 50, yep. Yeah. 450k 
gold. That being said, uh, we had a 15 hour nom in which an opponent had um, just 200 trade cards and it took them 15 hours now given they were spending a little bit of time breaking through the walls and whatnot. So maybe like 12 hours to generate that one milli. And it was surprising to me that he was even able to get a million gold. It takes us significantly less than 15 hours in game to generate 1 million gold with this exploit. And, and once again, I'm not actually doing all the labor intensive stuff. I just kind of let this run. But if I had clicked them over every time that they were empty, that would make this go even faster. So you could potentially half the time over here. I think I did it every once in a while just when I was feeling a little bit bored. But look at that. Uh, it's kind of like two paths. I guess one more thing that we could have done is we could have had this sequence over and over and over and over again. Or we could have had 500 pop. But I figured like 200 pop is what ranked games are actually at. So yeah, that's the setup. That's the thing. And I just wanted to show you guys because stuff. Could you imagine if I did this like 17 times over the amount of gold that I would generate? God, I guess you could too. It, it wouldn't be too hard to do. You just have to make the 200 trade cards in line with these and then just click them all. It would have to be a couple of clicks though because you can only select 60 of them at a time. But even still, let's see if we can click one of these and double click it. It's gonna be hard. Oh my god, they're too fast. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I wonder how many are on the top and how many are on the bottom. It's like a little ant race going on over here. 700k already in the bank. I thought you were sleeping. No, I'm never sleeping, love. I was just letting the game run to make this amazing content for all of the viewers. Hey, I want the whole world to know as I'm uploading this one to YouTube. I love you. Oh, whoa. Keep it on for the viewers. Jeez Louise, Spider-Man. Go, going crazy over here. I figured this will still be less than a 10 minute video. So enjoy. We'll just talk about the graph a little bit once we do have that giggity gang gold. Not much else to say. But it is cool that these things also work on mangadai as well as camels i don't think it works on siege uh this is the t90 exploit by the way we gotta give credit where credit is due t90 did discover this or maybe he found it on reddit uh unlike t90 i give him credit <laughs> just a little tease just a little nitpick you can see me moving over some of these every once in a while no, I think D90 is a wonderful content creator, and I like how he always pushes things to the limit as well. That's exactly what we aim to do. I like this tiny map series, actually. That was kind of cool. Um, I wouldn't mind playing in some of those tiny map series. I already have some strategies that I would like to implement on some of that. I think Sicilians would be a great pick on Black Forest, for example, or Khmer with a Khmer chop and make yourself some more space on uh, black forest islands i don't know what i would do probably some kind of a naval civilization right and that is it game let's quickly look at the statistics over here and uh yeah okay obviously just blah blah blah, blah. oh man the military so nuts oh th those were our mangadai and camel we did delete those just so that it didn't interfere with anything now i don't like this statistic at all wow you can really just see rip! Is this idle time? Total time worked. Oh, you can see the total. My I, I I don't like that statistic at all. I I want this one and this one only. I guess we could also go gold gathered in the last minute. Gold gathered. Last minute spent activity gathering gold. I don't know why that line is negative. Or, or zero what if i do this one? Oh yeah oh yeah gold collected 
you can really see it taking off here I'm, I'm surprised it's not more exponential in the beginning but i guess the trade cards just start going so fast that it doesn't maybe if i could zoom in on here it would be more exponential you can see that it's not a perfectly straight line because of collisions and stuff like that it's also not super noticeable if i'm doing the exploit or not by by dropping it off i was hoping that that would maybe be displayed as well uh, i've already made this video longer than it absolutely should be <laughs> in the zero apms yeah you can see when i was doing the trick just ever so slightly one milli gold in the bank in under two hours memes memes and dreams poop lord out gold exploits